welcome back to Crafting with Nana. I'm just getting home from work, but I thought that I'd try to tackle a couple more rows of our Star Wars Yoda. So let's get right to it. So for today's video, I'd like for you to have the eyes ready and you'll need two eyes and two of the circles, the white circles that came in the kit that will secure those eyes. So we'll set those aside for the moment. The other thing I'd like you to get is another color of thread, one you haven't used, and one that you can tell apart from the, the ones for our previous rows. So I'm choosing white tonight. And we started with, or we ended with row eight last time. So we are going to straighten out our thread, get our paper clip out of the way, and all of our little threads out of the way. Go ahead and pick up that crochet needle and get it in place as we start with row nine. So row nine says that we need to single crochet two stitches together. That's SCT2 and then the TOG means so single crochet two stitches together and then single crochet in the next two stitches and we're going to do that six times. And what that's going to do is start closing Yoda's head. So starting with our row nine, remember to wrap your yarn carefully. And then you're going to slip into the stitch right past your hook. You're gonna come back, grab a thread, And bring it right into another stitch the next stitch in there and then come through and pull through all three threads whoops you can see that that's not always easy to do so let's try again no big deal you're going to again insert your needle into the first stitch past your um, the first loop and you're gonna wrap pull it through now you have two loops on there Kind of hold those with your finger, go through the next stitch and wrap, bring it back. You have three. You're going to wrap again and pull through all three. And that takes it down from two stitches to one stitch. So then it says after that we single crochet twice. So that's one, two, and then we repeat that process. So again, we're gonna go into the next stitch and wrap, pull it through. We've got two, go into the next stitch, wrap. Now we have three, wrap one more time and pull through. And that's our second time, our second round. So we're gonna do another single crochet, another single crochet and start the third process. So again, find that stitch, go through, wrap, then go to the next stitch, go through and wrap, three loops, wrap one more time, and pull through. Sometimes it's a little hard to get through there, and that's okay. Just be patient with yourself. And then we're gonna single crochet once, and single crochet twice. Now we're ready for our fourth process. So again that next stitch, one, then the stitch after, wrap again, we have three, then wrap and pull through, single crochet, single crochet. My dogs are in here visiting me. And that's four that we've completed, so we're going to do the process again. In to the next stitch and wrap. Then pick up the next stitch. Sometimes you have to pull it apart to look. And wrap. We have three. Pull through all three of them and that's our we're starting our fifth process 
single crochet, single crochet, and now it's our last, see how close we are to our threads here? This is our last process. We're going to go in one, wrap it, go in two and wrap it, Pull it through and then single crochet. One, two, and we are back around at the start. And that completes row nine. Good job, guys. Let me put that down for just a minute and read our next instructions. So that was nine. Now, we want to fit our eyes between rows six and seven. So let's go ahead and cut a piece of thread. Not only are my dogs noisy tonight, but the wind is raging tonight. So there might be some background noise on this video. I apologize in advance. So thread your needle. Come in and mark this as the ninth row. <clears throat> Changing this thread has really helped, because um, especially when we're doing this in so many segments, I kind of looked ahead on the instructions and we still have a long ways to go. So we'll probably pull out some of the other threads once we're done with the head and um, clean up our work a little bit, but not today. All right, so that's our ninth row. Now the way to find out where six and seven, or what does it want? It wants it between, you want, they want the eyes put between rows six and seven. So we're gonna count, so here's nine, eight, seven, and six. So six, on mine is this light blue thread right here. The other thing that it tells us to do is the this is considered the back of the head and we still have our paper clip up here making sure that the hole in the top of the head is nice and tight. But this will be the back of the head. That means our eyes are going to be opposite where all of our threads are. So we're gonna come back up here, we're gonna figure out what which one is row six and seven. And maybe an easy way to do that would just be to look back here where this thread is and just kind of follow this stitch around because we want to come back around to the front, but we want it to be within those two stitch rows. Does that make sense? So here's our stitch row. We're just gonna follow that around. When I have to turn it, I just stick a pin in. I'm gonna follow it around till we come to the front. And this is right about, maybe one stitch over, right about center front. Okay, does that make sense? So we're right about center front here. Now the instructions say that our eyes need to be not only between these two stitches, or these two rounds, six and seven, but they need to be five stitches apart. So I'm thinking if we leave that needle in right there, we can consider that that's the center of Yoda's head. And so we wanna go about two stitches on each side of our needle, and we should be five stitches apart when we're done. So here is one eye going in. So I came into row six, so I'm gonna come just a little bit catty corner to my needle. So again, one stitch. So let's go, let's put it, we won't secure it yet. But there's one stitch, two stitches. Let's put it right here. And then take the other eye and go on the opposite side of our needle and see if we like that spacing. I mean, this is your Yoda, so it doesn't have to be perfect. It almost looks 
like on our paper, Yoda's eyes might be a little bit further apart than I have here, or my stitching could be tighter than theirs. So play with it and decide how you want it. One of the most important things though is to make sure that the eyes are opposite your threads in the back. All right, so my eyes are in place where I want them. And we're going to put the back on so it will secure that. All right. The instructions I didn't find in the book anywhere where it said which way to put your secure your eyes, but it seems to me that um, the cup part needs to be away from the shank of our eye because it seems like it holds better like that. So I'm putting the cup part towards me as I slip this tight onto the shank of the eye. If you have any questions you can just leave a comment and I can get back to you but that seems to secure it the tightest so I'm gonna pull my needle out and at this time we're done with the head so we're gonna go ahead and untie our paper clip we're not done with the head totally but we're we know that it's gonna be as tight as it needs to be because we have the eyes in place so I think we can Go ahead and take this paper clip off. I've got plenty of yarn there, plenty of length. I'm just gonna clip it. And then what I want you to do is take your needle, thread your needle with the end. Make sure you've pulled it as tight as you like and we're going to take and put that to the inside of our Yoda head, just like that it inside and then we're just going to kind of weave stitch it in here just a little bit to hold it in place you'll be able to tell it's all on the inside you're not going to see it on the outside but that just holds it nicely in place there and now we can just take and cut that make sure that it's not your long piece that you're only cutting your short piece and just cut that off All right, so now that we have the eyes in place and we are done with row nine, we're gonna go on to round 10. And round 10 says that we're going to single crochet again, two together, and then single crochet in the next single crochet six times. We're gonna end up with 12 stitches. So as you can see, we keep closing up Yoda's head and that will give us an opportunity to stuff his head. So wrap properly and take your first stitch right past where the hook is. And you're going to go in one and wrap and into the next one and wrap and you have three. Wrap again and pull through and then we're going to single crochet in the next two. And that completes one set. Okay, then we repeat the process. Wrap, pull through. I insert again, wrap, pull through. Pull through all three. And then single crochet in the next two. a little tight working around the eyes but be patient with yourself and that's two processes I'm gonna go for a third here so in and wrap in again and wrap and take that stitch and then two more single crochets one and two, great job, you go again. This is our fourth, so we'll wrap, go in the next stitch and wrap, pull through all three, 
and then single crochet. One and two. Here we go again. We're going to go in one. We're some we're almost around to the beginning threads. So we want to go in one. Wrap. Go in the next one, wrap. Pull through all three. And guys, you can see I'm dropping them, so I have to just come back and start again. If that happens to you, again, just be patient. It's hard to work as the circle gets smaller, so be patient with yourself. So there's one. Pull through all three. There we go. And then single crochet. And then cut your thread, or cut a piece of thread, I mean, for your needle, and mark that stitch because that is round. Um, that is round ten. And this is where we need to change to brown. There we go, round 10 is completed. We have all of these little threads. I think we can probably go ahead now and pull some of those out to get them out of our way. And it might just be easier to clip them, whatever works best for you. Because we don't need those anymore, we're gonna switch colors and that's gonna tell us we're going to switch yarn colors, so it's going to be pretty obvious um, at what row we are on because switching yarn colors starts row 11. That one doesn't want to pull out, so I'm just going to clip it close right now, deal with it a little bit later. If some of the color still shows, I can pull it from the inside. All right, I'm going to clip all the way up to my white threads that I started with tonight. Now, changing colors is nothing to dread. We're going to do brown yarn next, so let's just unwrap that really quickly and get it out here. Find the tail so that it's going to unfold nicely for you. And then I think, honestly, the easiest way to do this will be to cut your green yarn on your Yoda, cut it a little bit long, because later you're gonna thread it in so you won't see that change. But in order to keep it out of our way, let's go ahead and tie the paper clip onto it. And it'll just kind of give it a little bit of weight to keep it out of our way while we're starting the row with our brown yarn. There we go. So you see that I kept the loop here that my, was on my crochet hook, but I cut the tail off of the green yarn. We no longer need it, but I'm gonna hold on to that tail with my paper clip so it's just out of my way. Then I'm gonna take my brown yarn, take the tail of the brown, and go ahead and tie it to the paper clip also. I know it can seem confusing, but if the paper clip is weighting your brown yarn down, then it will be just a simple matter of wrapping again 
like you did with the green yarn. And now you're just using the brown yarn instead of the green yarn. So round 11 says to have two single crochets in our next crochet. So remember you're gonna wrap this as though it were the green, just the same way as before. Let that paper clip hold the tail. We're going to have two single crochets in this first one. So slip it right back into that same hole and crochet it again. And then two single crochets in the first and a single crochet in the next stitch and we're going to repeat that all the way around. So again two single crochets in one stitch. We had two single crochets in one stitch and then single crochet and now we're moving on to the next stitch. We're going to do two single crochets again in that stitch and then one single crochet in the next one. And now you can see that we're we're coming out for Yoda's neck and we're making it a little bit larger. And again, it's difficult to work in this little circle, so be patient with yourself. So two single crochets in the next stitch. Single crochet in the one after. Two single crochets in the next one. to work your way around those eyes. Single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochets after. You can see that it gets easier using the brown as you go along. You don't have to worry anymore about where you started and where that paper clip is because you're doing just fine at this point. Single crochet after. Almost around to the beginning again. Two single crochets. All right, last two single crochets in that stitch. And then two single crochets and it takes us back around to the start of row 11 and to where we started with our change of color. That last stitch in there. All right, here we go. So that is row 11. And we're going to go ahead and stop, put another piece of thread in there. It is difficult to work inside that circle. So I do want you to be patient with yourself. If you have to watch the video a couple of times, go back over it if you need for me to clarify something or if, or if you need for me to pull something out and do it again. I'm happy to do that. Just leave your comments below for me and um, I will answer them as soon as I can. Again, if these have been helpful videos, please give it a thumbs up, share it across social media, and let your friends and family know that we're working on Yoda over here. 
I know it looks a little messy, guys, but we've accomplished a lot tonight. There you go. See you next time.